So yesterday, I literally got hundreds of people responding to my story as to which is the healthier river. And there was a lot of confusion. And I think the main consensus is that river number two had a lot of greenery in it. And people think, you know, there's blue green algae, it's green. So that must be the unhealthy river. And so I've brought you back down to which is the actual, actual unhealthy river today to really talk to you as to why you know we've got this problem in our rivers around Windermere. So let's look at the algae itself first. So when we want to identify whether it's algae or not, think of it really as slime on the riverbed itself. So look how it clings to the rocks and the problem that this has is that this stuff takes oxygen out of the water. So if oxygen levels are low, it's not very good for all the different species that live within it that need oxygen to survive. And another problem that we get in this circumstance is if you see how it's clinging to the bed of the river and this bed of the river with all the rockery in it is where fish would lay their eggs. So if, if a fish came along now and tried to lay, lay its eggs, you know, it would get blocked off by the algae because it's sitting like a carpet on it. But if the egg was lucky enough to find its way into one of these crevices, the problem is, is that this algae, again, is taking oxygen out of the water, and so the eggs will never hatch. So why is the algae so bad? And when we think about why this, you know, why algae blooms, we've got to think about the, the nutrient phosphorus. So phosphorus is entering this river, one of the main sources is from United Utilities Waste Treatment Site, which is pumping out phosphorus in two different ways. Number one is from storm overflow discharge, and that means that sewage is coming out uh, in high flood events and is entering the river, and that sewage contains a lot of phosphates and phosphorus. And the second way that phosphorus is entering from United Utilities is because of the different products that we're using in our homes. So detergents, washing up liquids, um, certain shampoos contain phosphorus. And what United Ut Utilities struggles with is that they can't actually take that phosphorus out of the system. And so it ends up in our waterways. And so when we looked at the video yesterday and you look at all that greenery, that's actually a really good sign because that's aquatic plants and I think the confusion really came from the fact that you know the blue green algae is very green but the difference you want to really look for is that the blue green algae sits on the surface of the water almost as if someone you know spilt paint into it and it will come and go this algae here which again benefits from the phosphorus creates a whole different problem you know for the different invertebrates and fish that end up you know, wanting to use the river. And the real issue that we're having now because of climate change is, you know, look at this beautiful sunshine. This warm, dry weather, and when the water actually then drops in its levels and the concentration of phosphorus goes up, just creates the perfect storm for the, for the different algae species that live within the water. And currently enough is not being done to actually limit the amount of phosphorus that's going into Windermere. And because climate change is, you know, it's real, it's happening, we need to act now to save Windermere.